Hello and good day everyone, my name is Sebastian and you are watching The Novice Prospect. Welcome back to Space Engineers, episode 4. And I have done some work during night time. So it's a foggy morning on Earth and there is a lot of gravel being spit out. All right, and I, I may have fell down and needed to dig up because I am literally completely out of hydrogen. But, you know, them's the, them's the breaks. Um, but so let's go and look at, because we, we know we need resources, right? And I was not willing to put you guys through that again so badly. So what I've done is I've made this a whole lot bigger. It, it may not seem it, but there is on Twitch, uh, on Twitter, sorry. Um, hey Tarsus, hi, hi, hi. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, th there was a whole section of stone here that I've sort of dug away and there is a mystery tunnel here and it's not pretty. Oh, by good grief, it's not pretty at all. And it's not quite finished, but I am sort of wanting to head 50 meters, well, 48 meters that way, which... And I'm going to do that um, off camera, <clears throat> just because, again, I'm not going to put you guys through the whole experience of me mining more. Um, I would like to use what I've dig uh, dug out down there as a backup base, you know, something where I could have maybe another uh, first aid kit, things like that. Or uh, point two on the rotor, okay. So, yeah, let me actually go and quickly go back to what Tarsus was saying yesterday um, he was leaving a comment after the video that let's go and look at not actually if we just set up the button panels right we had set up this be uh, to be the, for the advanced rotor to be a toggle block on off when in fact I was now reliably, uh, reliably informed by Tarsus what we should be doing no not the light good grief is we should actually, where is it, rotor lock on off. That is actually what we should be doing, right? And so the other thing we can do is you can actually go on the speed on the of the rotor. Um, and there it is basically. We could dial this essentially all the way up to point 0.2, right? However, we're going to do that after I extended the mining. Right, uh, I feel like we've, we've got a few materials we, we should do for sure. Like, let me confirm. Like, I'm, I'm certain we should have... Uh, yeah, 6k iron, that's, that's nice. 2k silicon, 1.5k, say, of nickel. And more stone being processed as we speak. Nice. How much more stone is... That was it, I think. Yeah, um, but you know, so I've, I've done a bit of mining and it was definitely worth it. Because um, I've got two things that I want to do today. I want to expand this a little bit, get more materials in as we're going, and then build up this rover, put an ore detector on it, put a um, solar panel on it, you know, things like that. Well, we're going to expand it a bit, but let's go and stop the drill. We're going to pull you up. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to piston um, for the actual drill. Alright, I'm going to just say minus one. Bam. Just pull up. Skadoosh. And then we're going to take that extender and just do the same. Just minus one it. Bam. And I'll bring it in. And this is going to be an interesting build because I have literally no hydrogen. And, um, yeah, I, I'm not sure how I'm going to reach it. I'm probably going to have to... Okay, we're going to need steel plates. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Why did I not consider that? I, I should have put those into production. I mean, we have seven, that's fine, but... Um, go in here and say make a uh, hundred... Right, and then through the inventory, just give me those for now. Just so I can build a little platform out there. I th think actually I would like it a little bit lower. So let's maybe come out from, say, yeah. Yeah, like so. Well, it doesn't have to be 
weld it, weld it up, but we're just going to need something to stand on. Well, well, I'll take it, it's fine. Um, so, right, we're going to grind that off now. Oh, no, come on. Um, I am fairly certain the inventories are empty, but I will just... Yeah, 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 yeah. I, did, I didn't think there was anything in there at all. Okay, give me all this, please. Alright, then we're gonna slice this off. Alright, I would also like to take the rotor off. Uh, I, I, uh... This is fine. <laughs> this is this is the only thing I really don't like when you when you've not got any ice around here that you're really stuck to yeah doing weird Minecrafty towers if you will to try and get to building your or even just to get up to a platform to drill something away or you sorry weld something away it's <laughs> yeah it's it's annoying sometimes. But it is what it is. Oh, wrong block. Um, there we go. I'm just going to come up here and hope. Yeah, that should be fine. I'm just going to chop this off. I was hoping. Yeah, that. And then... Oh, you're not going to let me up there, are you? Can we attach a block there? I think, would that be enough? to get me here. Ah, oh, fuck. Crying out loud. Um, take that one off. Give me a full block and then a slope. I know this is ugly, this is hideous and it's gonna go away again in a second. There we go, take that rotor away. Now I can chop these bits off. Oh, of course. It's fine. Uh, I should have probably left that, but... Well, we'll, we'll see. And uh, no, we're not going to pick up... I think some steel plate fell in there, but... Do I rightfully care? No, not anymore. Right, let, let's just get out of the hole, please. And I'm gonna just take that off on there. I, I just want to have uh, make sure I have enough space to actually build this out. Um, and so there's one piston, and then another one. That's the idea, I think. Right, and then we're now going to where's where's the rotor? Right there. Uh, yeah, like so. Right. I'm gonna have to chop these off, I think. Just because, yeah, that's gonna go fairly deep here. So let's go and attach. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Um, that looks about right. Me. I think this is gonna, uh, yeah, we're gonna, uh, I, I have a feeling that these drills may break, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt fit anyways. Now, more blocks please, uh, no, not slopes, you can just give me blocks, come on one more and then no more steel plate, of course. Mm. Also, uh, energy is already just... Uh, oh wait, there's an inventory right here. I'll take it. I should now have... Yes. Give me... Give me... Oh. I don't need them at the moment. Uh, right... Yeah, no, no, that's fine. Um... <laughs> Um, so, 
there we go. Yeah, that should bring me close enough on the other side to weld that stuff up, hopefully now. Um, excuse me. I would like to be a little bit smart instead of going and trying to point at these things. Say one, two, three, four. That's how many I've built, right? And now... Oh, no, 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 no. Sebastian is an idiot. Uh, block weapons? No, it's a, a character tool. Where is... Yeah, that's, that's going... No. What? It's my welding torch that I've just removed. There, yeah, that's better. Um, now, we can remove some of this. And we're just going to start... So... I hate parkouring. Like in this game, it can be frustrating as anything. I would, oh, I was on it too. <laughs> there we go. Um, but it's the necessary evil of not finding. Right. So I was actually thinking, Tarsus, I'm just gonna right-click drill a whole chunk away here, and just sort of right-click. Yeah, the, sort of these sort of four voxel blocks. Say. Just get rid of them. I I I know I, I should add an artwork piston to sort of bring out, but um, or I could double piston it, like um, right. So th there's a thing I could do. Actually, let me let me try something here. Um, I could have the pistons sort of be on the same height as each other with piping. Let me let me see if I can visualize what I'm talking about. So I will literally have to yep come on here, chop these off again. That and you too. Because my idea is oh, let's see if I can come up here. Um, I just don't care. Just get me up there. Yeah. And chop uh, off this first. Come on. Be nice. No, 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 no. I don't want that falling into the gravel. Because I know that's exactly what would happen. I would have to go and deal with all that. No, no, no. Actually, there's another thing I can do. I think. Maybe not. Um... Give me the control panel. There is a what is it, advanced rotor. Can I detach the head just simply? Like. Huh. Oh, okay. That's done the same thing. That's not what I wanted. Well, fine. I'll have to deal with that. And so what I'm thinking here is we have one piston there. And then if I keep the piping out the way, like, say, give me curves, yes. Like, come around, like, interior plate, really? I'm sure we have interior plate, like, which one is it? Yeah, just give me those. I don't, I don't care right now, we're just building the, 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 bye bye, the structure of it. Um, <clears throat> Like so, um, I will need another set of uh, pistons to. I think. Am I doing this right? Uh, I'm trying to visualize what would happen if I go and now attach a piston that extends up the way, and then if I come round again. Pointing down the way. Yeah, no, that wouldn't actually extend it for me. Um, okay, more chopping. Uh, sort it. I'm going to do what Tarsa said from the beginning. Um, but we're going to start with a piston that sort of can lift us up. So sort of here, right there-ish, where I can then bring up the whole stack. 
take it out and then sink it into the ground. That way I don't have to do any drilling. Um, wait, let me get at those blocks. Can we... You're not going to let me do that, of course, right? I realise. Um, let's do something like so, put one there. Right, I don't know, I'm going to jump that, so... Come up here, can I chop now? Chop that. And chop that. Um, and yeah, we're going to go further up. This, this is all very sus. I like this not one bit to be up here. Ah! I knew it. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I forgot about you. No, not not gravel. Um, no, no, that thing. Thank you. Wait, was there anything else down there? No, it was just gravel. And I'm I'm hoping that the world cleanup is just gonna take care of that over time. <laughs> um, so let's see here. Calm up. Bring this up. And we want to take this plate off first. There it is. Yeah, of course I don't have enough space in my inventory, as usual. Can I feed that? And please stay with me. Come here. Come here. Thank you. No, just empty the build planner. Just all that nonsense. I really, really suck at this game. I, I do realise, and I do apologise. <laughs> so, take this away. Right, and I will... Hmm. Could... I could save myself a little bit of bother. Right, let, let me see if I can... No, that was right, but I wanted to be... No, that's the wrong block. It's this way I want... Right, what I'm thinking, right, uh, bear with me, right, we've got the extender, and then, <clears throat> I will now need to add more blocks to come out that way, so otherwise it'll never work, um, and I'm hoping, just like so will be enough, I just need to build out that little construction thing that I have in mind, um, so let me see. Yeah. So let me see. Um, my idea was something along the lines of um, could do it to the side actually. Like uh, no. No, no, I don't like that. Like, I, I was just trying to visualize something then. Like, no, 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 let's, let's do this proper. Come up, but I need to come up here as well. Can we sneakily, yeah, I'll do me. No. Dear uh. space engineers, your parkouring sucks. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not making it easy on myself either, so there is that, you know. Um, <clears throat> so what I'm thinking is... Do this. Of course I'm not high enough. Can, I, can we, hopefully, if i had done this prepped... I'm trying to think, like so. Bring it out. No, bring it up. Mm. No, actually, this is where the piston goes. Wait, 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 wait. Right. Um, let me align the piston. No, that was it, actually. Right, like so. No. No. Not like that. Oh, what? At this rate, I am going to kill myself today. 
I, I, I see it on the horizon. It's been that sort of day already, so. Oh, of course, now you let me out. No, zero might do as well. No, I was going to grind this and that. And I am going to just. No. Just get me higher up, please. I, I just want to be able to look on top of here for now. Um, give me a piston. Right there. Nice. And yeah, I, I do realize I'm going to have to come up a bit more, but I have a plan ish. Yeah, I appreciate that, Tarsus. That's actually, thanks for that. Um, Tarsus is saying to just take my time and not rush to build. <laughs> it's good advice, actually, like, in general. When you're trying out something new and you're not quite sure what you're doing, uh, take your time. Look at it from different perspectives. So, now my imagination is, or in, in my mind, if I now do two pipes, right? So, like, um, bring this round like so. And then bring this one round, right? We should now have enough height for me to go and attach my piston stack that actually points downwards. Right, now remember from, from yesterday, Tarsus was uh, telling us that we need to do the piston first before we do the rotor. No, where is it? There. Um, because otherwise you won't get the rotation working on the rotor. Actually, I have steel plate now spare, I think, if I can get myself up here. Like, I've done what I need. No, no, I haven't. I... Okay. We're going to need more steel plate anyway, so I might as well just... Yeah, give me, give me all that. Thank you. Nope. Right, come up here again and here that was enough so now we're putting down was it piston why is there something in the way is it it may actually be the blocks like i should be able to like i can't see anything that's in the way and the upward person is going to work the opposite way it will come Yeah, 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 I, 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 yeah, fair enough. So the upward piston is obviously the one that is going to re going to retract and instead of extend. Um, but I am curious as to why it won't unable to place. I, th I think there's literally blocks in the way by my reckoning. So we'll take. Bye bye. Uh, not killed myself yet, that's actually really surprising. So let's get back up here. <laughs> right, take that one off and take that one off. I have a feeling that may have actually been already it. No. What am I in the way? Is it could be because these blocks are in the way. I, I, because it's probably going to think, well, I can't extend into that space. So we're going to have to just take this off. Right, and just come here and... Uh, well, Tarsus is saying to need to build out one. Oh, are the pistons attaching there? Is that what's happening? Like the the, the the piston right next to each other? Ah, uh, yeah, 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 I think. Like, Tarsus is just saying I need one more space in between that. So, yeah, that actually makes sense. Um, so, let me just bring that out just so I can walk on it. Because I, I can imagine that those blocks would attach to each other. <laughs> no, no. 
there's this thing again. Um, yeah, Tars is literally just confirming it there, so uh, I was right with my hypotheses there. That when you weld those blocks up, they will actually attach to each other. And <laughs> Space Engineers, thankfully, is smart enough to actually tell you, eh, gonna no do that. <laughs> um, block, ramp, block, block, ramp. Um, so how high am I? Okay, I'm about the right height now, then let me... Of course I'm in the way. Of course I'm in the freaking way. Right, and then just bring it out. And that should bring me, hopefully... Well, the energy can just wait now. I have... No! Okay, I might as well. <laughs> Honestly, this this is not playing when you're too close to another introducing player. Yeah, yeah, clang. That that is exactly what I thought it was gonna. So yeah, th that would be literally a visitation or clang doing that sort of thing because yeah, pistons pointing into each uh, uh, well, attaching to each other and pointing into a different direction. Yeah, that that is just. Really not a good time to go. Why am I not healing in the control seat? That's a little bit weird. Like that I need to actually do this thing. Um, and we we have had, you know, slight, let's say grumblings of Clang already in, in the last few episodes when things started to swing, you know, wildly. <laughs> um, Again, this is actually what I like about this. Oh, here we go again. Are you kidding me? Right. Once more into the breach. Or the scaffold in this case. Right. Um, so what I was saying is I, I like that about space engineers. That if you muss up something fairly basic in terms of mechanical engineering, then yeah, you're going to get punished for that. Right. And it, it makes sense. Please just... Let me drill, uh, grind that away. So, what we need to do, it's a very straightforward thing we need to do. Um, I just want a, no, no, nothing like this. Yeah, just, just a plain old type, right? And then we're going to now take the curve and now we can take it down. Right, that's literally all we were doing wrong there. Yeah, hitboxes are absolutely terrible. Sometimes you, you're standing right in front of it. And I, I found actually, Sometimes to be a bit more away does help, um, but anyways, so now I'm going to have to grind this away because I am truly in the way, I think, like with the blocks and that. I just, I just... How are you still, I was going to say, attached? <laughs> Alright, so let's bring the first person into play here, and this is going to be the, the typical boom, boom. Why not? Unable to... Oh, is this because I'm in the way or something is in the way? Probably. Um, no. Wrong buttons. No, oh, I've done it again. Honestly, I, I... I knew I was doing it too. That's the best part. I was I was, I was grinding, it, grinding it away and in my head I was going... You're going to drop, by the way. Okay. Grind, grind, grind. Yeah, great. Um, and that is fine. Get rid of that. Get rid of that for now. Um, and yeah, we're far enough out so I can just actually put, hopefully now, another piston on this. No, don't. I'm too far away now. Ah, you. <laughs> swear this game sometimes. Um, give me <laughs> locks to come out on, on, on this level. We'll, we'll try that, maybe. Okay. Can we just please... Where are ya? Where are thou? Just place that. But why not? Am I pointing the wrong way? Oh, yes, maybe. Ah, I was actually pointing the wrong way. 
I know I need to find dice stars as I desperately need to find dice. <laughs> this is painful to watch even for me as playing it. <laughs> um, right. So really what we're working towards. I need a solar panel on here just to recharge the battery ever so slightly an ore detector and an antenna. Right, let's try and maybe work towards that quickly because th this really is painful and, and we should, realistically, we should have the resources. Like, what am I doing? Um, let's go and deposit all this stuff for now. Um, let me set up a hot bar with, well, we can just change stuff about here. So I don't like the buggy cockpit for that. We're going to get rid of that. Um... Where is my cockpit blocks? What I would really like is the industrial cockpit. Right? I'm going to start with that. Um, then... Ore detector. Um, and then... T and ten... Oh, wait, what? Antenna, what am I missing? Um, I need to find the block first. If I can see it, no... Right, let me, what is, ah, right, okay, so we were not quite in the right bit. For an antenna, I need to build a beacon. Okay, I'll build a beacon and then we'll build an antenna, right? What, why would I need a beacon? Like, uh, okay, uh, does it need to be big grid? I, I, I can just place one on here, I, I imagine, right? Um, Just, like, because of resources. Small grid, just... Components successfully withdrawn. Awesome. Nice. Um, go and just put that there. Bada boom, bada bing, bada bam. And then what's the next one I said? Uh, of course I didn't put the antenna in there. No, it's not a cockpit block, it's an any block, it's like all blocks, like what? Like, I've just welded up... Oh, that was an ore detector. You are an idiot, Sebastian. You truly are. I mean, it's fine. Oh, gyros, yeah, yeah, I'm going to need a few gyros probably, um, just to keep things stable. Um, but that's actually then also going into a territory where, we're, where we'll be using a script to manage the vehicle. Okay, um, just letting you know, Tarsus. Um, yeah, just go and place that there. Now, surely... Um, no, no, you're, you're absolutely right, though. I will have at least a few gyros somewhere in the back and somewhere in the front, you know, a pair each something just to keep stable. For sure, for sure. Um, but we will be tying them in very quickly into a programmable block as soon as I can. Um, now, however, do I... No, of course you haven't. Uh, this, okay, but it's fine because now I can add it at least to the hotbar. And no, it's not going to be gr big grid. Good grief. Not for now. Is, it, is that the right thing? Um, it's an antenna of sorts, and I'll take it. Oh, it's it's that guy. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that's what we ground away. In that. <laughs> um, and so I'm thinking right there would be nice, because then I can place the gyros literally boom, boom, each there. Right. And again, so let's walk through this quickly because people may not know what a gyro is or a gyroscope. Gyroscope is essentially a moving mass in a contained vacuum that allows you to change rotation of your vehicle, right? Just by changing the angular momentum or the, the vector of the angular momentum in relation to the vehicle or the vessel. Um, Anyways, let's go and actually get those put in here. Might as well. I hope I can already make them. Yes, yes. I, I, I was going to be surprised if not. Right, two... Nope, wrong one. Three, four. Okay, we're missing one component. 
Pain's a good example for that. Um, but we're using gyroscopes on on space stations as well. Um, it, it's a sort of thing that really, it's a very simple design or a device in itself. Um, but it it really, no, that's not right. That is not correct. I I think that didn't look right. Both of them didn't look right. Sorry guys, uh, I, I am a little bit pernickety when it comes to that. Yeah, we're pointing it down into that. That's what I wanted, yes. Pitch roll, yeah, that's the three translational axes that you essentially have available. And that is essentially what a gyroscope allows you to manipulate. Um, but we'll get into that actually. Um, once I've built it, because uh, what we can see a lot in, st in, in space engineers is a vehicle taken off over a dune and it will just keep rotating in the direction it was the last rotating, right? And that could be a around all three axes um, of pitch, roll and yaw, right? And this is where you need a gyroscope that can essentially correct for that. Um, it's also a tool used to actually give you information in relation to your your vessel and the ground, for example. So it's, you know, gyroscopes are actually quite multifunctional normally. Um, but so, there we go, that's that part. I am not entirely sure why they're red. Are they normally turned off? We'll see. Um, I will grind this guy away. And I did say I was going to. Um, and I am... Hoping it's not too big. Like I, I, I just had this really ugly notion of. Fuel critical. Let me see. My fuel is critical. I, you, you don't see. Why do you think we're making this whole song and dance, dear lady? Is this too big? What am I doing wrong here? I, I think it needs to attach, sort of like yawn. But we are definitely too big for that. Okay. Uh, change of plans. Um, because I'm not going to go and change my whole block design at the moment. No, no, no. Uh, just give me a cockpit. Just, can we plong this right there on top? And I'm needing steel plate for that. That's fine. Give me them. Boom. Right. All oh, right, you can use gyroscopes in a scriptless solar panel alignment. Fair enough. I mean, uh, to be quite honest with you, uh, Tarsus, and this is um, why I'm saying it, I actually had only seen videos a lot, you know, with scripts being enabled, and so this is why I chose that particular route in my playthrough. And I am aware, obviously, like in multiplayer, you, you, you loft, a lot of times you don't get things like uh, a script, so, so programmable blocks are out of the box, so how would you do soul alignment? I've always wondered. Um, it may be interesting to look into it and then do it on stream, actually, to, yeah, show it. Um, I'm just going to go and start welding this thing together. And... Are we good with production? Are we doing the thing? It it looks like it. Like I'm surprised as I was saying it's it's not got enough iron. Although I know for a fact we should have enough. Um But you know, while the thing is functional, let's go and set it up already. Right? So we remember from yesterday we were saying that we don't want to use the peeper ever 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 so the first button i will always have on just on one that's just where i always want it is handbrake on off Bam. nothing to do with park you would just use the handbrake and it automatically enables park but you don't have any influence over that which is just as well you know leave the computer to do that as it were um i would like to be able to enable and disable my ore detector and antenna um, oh yeah, the same for the beacon, please. 
then also if you remember we have made made a little maintenance thing actually can i can i move things no you can't okay so remove we'll put the maintenance lift right back here right um it's just a reverse i've done on that i'm sure and then the ore detector can just go there toggle block on off boom skadoosh right love it love it love it now not quite done um 5k landing gear near a hinge rotor a gyroscope block and then the solar panels ah honestly i'm gonna have to try that in, in the next uh, stream um as i say i've got a few things planned for today but you know it might actually be something that we can do for next time um just to show how one would do that um because i will also have a bit of solar panel uh, power going um at the base so two and a half k I, I don't want to be too obnoxious with my antenna to be honest and then the ore detector is yeah it's using the antenna so we're basically good to go from what i can see i'm i'm, I'm not going to worry going to worry too much about any settings anything like that um we oh yes stop can't um solar panel because we may just otherwise get stranded so no 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 yeah yeah i i, I understand leave me alone um and these are available in big block and small uh, sorry small grid and large grid um i am not entirely sure where i'm going to place this yet let me i mean it's going to be uglier sent to start with just there can we do that is that a thing just <laughs> um oh yeah absolutely tarsus if you want absolutely um I was actually saying to someone on, on Twitter the, uh, just earlier on, I, I would actually be quite happy to even open up the game to multiplayer and really get, you know, one, two people involved and really, yeah, get into it. It's um, This is really why I got into streaming, because I like the whole collaborative nature, you know, that people can sit either just in chat or they, they can participate in the game themselves. It's... It's that sort of collaboration that really has brought humanity... Oh, no, 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 no. Girders, girders. Oh, no, that's fine. That's not grids. I thought it was... No, no, we're fine. I thought we had a cobalt problem, but we don't. Thank goodness. So, get this built up. Oh, the solar cells are coming, I'm sure. And we should also have ingredients for here. We'll just get that welded up. Um, but so yeah, as I was saying to us, I am actually quite <clears throat> inclined to open up to multiplayer and yeah, have one, two people, you know, explaining things to each other and learn from each other in that way. It's so if you wanted to be a part of that, hey, you're more than welcome. Um, otherwise, you're more than welcome to do your thing in chat. I love your input every single time. It really helps. Um, I really wish we had more sun. Dear Rain, could you please not be? But okay, it's it's a thing, and we just have to deal with it, right? Um, uh, grief is this ugly. <laughs> it's like Lego gone wrong. I. But the one thing, like we we can't just take off like this. I've just noticed, mm. like I, I'm gonna need a cargo container. It's like otherwise, it's, this is all for now. Well, I'm gonna bring in. Break from one inventory for no no no. So two settings. No no not that. Um, not as large. What's the medium? I'm so I'm mumbling and rambling to myself because I'm wondering what the cost is for this guy. Who's interior plate? Now this definitely looks like something we could make. Like I, I don't see anything that if it fits the ships, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I think I'm going to try. 
so that, that would be on. It would help if I added that to the quick bar. Um, <coughs> cannot withdraw. I'll go and put those into production, please. Oh no, I, <laughs> I, I don't have the jet back at moment. <laughs> um, I will need another block. Okay. Might as well introduce you guys to that block and give me two seconds. I don't know if I have it on my quick bar. No, I do not yet. However, there is a group of blocks that actually allows us to convert from one to another. Now, where is it? It's a conveyor converter. That's exactly what it's looking for. So this guy, we can attach it here. Right? And then put the medium cargo container with the big right there. And we can interact from the inventory. We can interact through here with that big cargo container. Now, just keep in mind you can't obviously pass everything through the small um, conveyor slots. You know, just the usual space engineer stuff. The only thing that goes through the small conveyors is literally um, ores, I believe. I don't believe that any other components actually go through. And yeah, we're just gonna fill that up. Are you missing a few steel tubes? Do we have them? Oh yeah, see? That's the stuff I'm talking about. Get that welded up. And I think now we're good to actually go and find ice. Because I am sick to my back teeth. <laughs> and I'm sure <laughs> Tarsus was too. That's why he was saying it. Get ice. <laughs> um, or find ice, you know. And hey, I, I appreciate Tarsus. I, I, yeah. <laughs> Just, that was painful. So let's let's go and actually <laughs> jump in here. We need to switch ourselves on, turn the handbrake off, and yeah, we're, we're good to go. So I'm just gonna go in a direction. We have a GPS for the base. Hello. Come on. Like normally, I find once you start start driving about, you find resources fairly easily. I mean, of course, the game is going to prove me wrong today. And you know, to be honest, I am also taking it fairly slow. Like I'm only getting, going like about thirty meters a second. If I had my program of a block with the autopilot. Enabled, yeah, I'd be going on at me as a second quite easily, quite happily. But at the moment, I am afraid that control may just be. Um, oh, oh, oh! I'll take it. One marker. This already is a find. Like, <laughs> iron in itself? Yes, please. Uh, handbrake. And now remember, I am um, fairly peculiar about this. I like to do it always this way. And I will refer to the elements by their chemical shorts. Because, just because I'm lazy. Simple as. Get back in here. Oh, iron is already a good find. I, I love it already. It was already worth it. Because, like, even coming home with a full container of just iron is going to shorten the time of production so much. Like, because it doesn't have to go and to go through all two and all through stone and only getting very little in return, realistically. Okay, oh, whoa, 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 okay. Now, keep in mind, our vehicle is not the most sturdy in terms of off-roading, so I think... <laughs> this, for me, right now, it was an ex... Oh, oh, whoa, 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 I missed that. If there's gold, there should also be silver here somewhere. Like, honestly. Um, I, I get, this is something sort of general world gen. Okay, stop here. Let's 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 try and find gold, iron. Like normally, when you find gold, you also find silver. Or maybe the other way way around. I'm not entirely sure, but I always thought that those two always turned up together. Iron still. 
had sort of right under us and no silver inside but th this is fine like I, I don't mind it right we're gonna this is a huge iron patch by the way so I'm gonna mark the closest I can get to the gold we'll see here oh yeah 3.5 meters yeah we'll mark this slash uh, GPS earth this is gold is it yeah um, AU uh, for Aurum and then actually I may have just may as well have just said that it's Aurum and gold uh, iron because it is like there's no literal distinction here for iron in that case uh -oh. Uh, oh crap, did I? I don't think it was. <laughs> I thought I'd lost my rover. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is why you want an antenna and a beacon on your ship. Um, right. I will, however, just while we're here, we're not really interested in gold at the moment. Where's, where's the iron pad I just found? Oh, is that 500 that way? No, that's fine. I cool Tarsus. Um, no, I think that's as good as it's gonna get here. Let's. I'm gonna sort of try and head down here into this eek crevasse, as it were, or this this valley. The likelihood is that it may be closer to resources being you know, lower in the general area. And again, you know, I've shown you the the, the unknown signals, but I, I don't feel they're worth all that much in terms of rewards, uh, except for right in the beginning when you're really short on, uh, on, on resources, or if you're really into your, what would you call it, your, your sort of cosmetics. I, I couldn't, I, I could honestly not give two flying craps what my space engineer looks like, as long as I can control him and play him. <laughs> um, it is fairly devoid of resources where I am, like I am, <laughs> and this is why you want a gyroscope by the way, that right there, because it will, ooh, this is nice, we'll take it because it'll sort of help you right yourself um, and stay fairly straight. Gonna mark this up. Boom. GPS. This is also on Earth still. This is silicon. Oh. And nickel and magnesium. Oh, this is nice. It's all right here. It's all right here. So, no, not hell. Okay. Um, GPS. Where was my silicon? Um, we're going to add magnesium and nickel to it. Oh. Right, so we, we actually have now reliable-ish resources of those elements. Um, I would really, really, really like to find silver. Um, mainly because it helps us build... Mm -hmm. get, get back in here. Uh, silver because it allows us to build um, what's it called health kits you know they have the respawn station whatever you want to call it um, and the other one we're really after oh, this is ice and I've not found a single bit of it and I have just lost a block <laughs> like honestly I've just ripped something off I'm sure whoa yes I have Um, we're gonna just... Uh, I have no steel plate on me, of course not. Eh, no. Mistakes were made. I'm not gonna even... Weld it up. So, ice, 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 ice. Um, I could be lucky, although I doubt it. I'm gonna just sort of skirt the bottom of this here hill, but I have a feeling I have to go higher up for that. You know, 
we've got two hours of battery, so that's fine. I would like to have a quick look. Let's not do this in full pelt. I would like to just, just for the sake of my own curiosity, see fully depleted in two hours. Right. Okay. We're we're not charging in any way, shape, or form with that solar panel. Is it something? Uh, okay, we are, but we're also using energy, so it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a thing. Also, I probably should have fitted lights to this, you know, because time is moving on in this planet. So I'm going to try and find a bit higher ground, because I have a feeling that I may find ice there. We've already made good finds, so that's all good. And I'll probably swing by some iron um, on our way back to base. Whoa! What was that? I, I, I seen that. What was it? I mean, it's, it's fine. There's iron there, there's oils. No, no, I've seen that. Please tell me you've got no gold. I really don't want to risk this. Can we... I can probably walk it. Like, it feels like I should be able to get fairly close here. And yeah, 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 this, this seems fine. This would be obviously a rain drain or something. So, gold, iron, nothing else here. Well, we'll mark it anyways. You know, because resources. Um, Earth, AU. Okay. Welcome back, Tarsus. And so, there we go. Come on here. Back to the rover. Yeah, still no ice, Tarsus. Um, I'm trying to actually sort of head into higher ground and find ice there. So, yeah. And, yeah, also I have lost a block, or crashed a little bit, but it's fine. And I probably could have helped myself by actually steering the ship way, way, with a mouse. You know, that's the whole point of the gyroscopes. They actually allow you to land on all fours if you can. So I just want to get around this big, humongous ravine. Whoa! Yeah, this is going to go terribly wrong. This is going to go terribly wrong! Yep, I knew it. I knew something was going to... <laughs> okay. So we have 44 minutes of energy. Just hold on there for a second. Um, as I say, Tarsus, we've lost a block there. We have victims. I am surprised all of this is still more or less intact. <laughs> uh, oh, I forgot the handbrake, didn't I? Yeah, of course I did. We're fine. Uh, well, I've got three batteries on it and they're not too bad with a control panel. Um, so if we set on, and, and we've got about 44 minutes of just idle running. Uh, I am really, really hoping that just getting up here. Let's see. Uh, that's an unknown signal, not caring. Uh, we're not actually really too far out from the base, so I'm I'm not happy it happened, but you know it's it's a thing, and we we'll just have to be really careful with energy conservation. Unknown signal, no 
still don't care about that. Please tell me somewhere in them Dar Hills is. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I think I've just killed some. Are you? We've lost the battery. We've we've lost. Uh, we've lost quite a few things, and I have no idea how I'm gonna write this. I can probably try and gyro it, but it's not gonna be pretty. Uh, oh my goodness! I I did predict that it was gonna be one of the days, and. <laughs> I, 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 I have lost. What did I lose? It, it must have been one of my pistons. It's gone. Yep. Oh, good grief! Yeah, construction components. I, I. <laughs> I'm going to take you with me because I can. Um, scrap metal. Just grind it up. <laughs> scrap metal. No, that's basically just... No, all I can do is just go in the refinery and get redone. Uh, nickel, iron. Ooh! Ooh! Yes, uh, 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 Tarsus, you've got wait, a non signal. Uh, 1.68, 14 minutes, we'll take it. So, Tarsus made a point. There is a small battery on that there, unknown signal. And just, just, whoa, 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 slow it down here. Slow it right down. Um, I can replace it. Now, Tarsus, you do realise you've become something of a fixed institution already, right? <laughs> and that is a good thing. I'm, I'm not complaining, by the way. <laughs> um, and... Eek. Eek, 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 eek. Okay. Uh, Rover? Park. Stay. Uh, yeah, actually, go and let's... Well, no, if we turn you off, we don't have the beacon and the... And I know myself, I would actually crap and lose it too. So I need up there. Oh, my game got saved. So I'm hoping that these ravines, yeah, they usually do, if you can navigate them. Again, bit of parkour. For the non ice carrying, uh, carrying. Uh, yeah, I probably should set the speed on the wheels to something fixed. Uh, just to not <laughs> kill myself all the time or my vehicle. Um, to try your luck with the new special items. A policeman grinder, yay! Don't care. Just give me all your components, as a matter of fact. This. I'm going to take the steel plate as well, just to be able to repair what I've just done there. I would like to restore some of the I, uh, power cells. Oh no, it's just construction components I need to repair, so I'm fine. Just oh, don't grind that down yet. Look into the inventory. Yeah, grab me all of that. Ooh, and you will die. Yes, nice. I love it. I did not make it. But me as a setting is, yeah, that's probably a sound advice. <laughs> so, again, um, Taris is with a good bit of input there. When we get back to the rover, we're going to set up the wheels to actually be speed limited. You know, it makes sense. Come on. 
these hitboxes are sometimes a pain. Come on. There you go. Right. And I know it's... I think I'm going the wrong way. I don't even know that anymore. Right, that doesn't look... Oh, what is the, the, the thing we crossed? So yeah, this has became a bit of a longer adventure than I intended it to be. But you know, that's what you get for just plonking down the greens at 30 meters, uh, 45, 50 meters per second. I've gone and done it, haven't I? No. Are you kidding me right now? I... I've turned it back on, did I not? Unless the antenna was broken. Then I am not going to see it. Right, give me the full HUD. Give me all my signals, right? What am I missing here? Where is my goddamn rover? I'm not even playing like... What the... F it was a power grid, like, was it? This is just not happening right here. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's my own stupidity. I'm, I'm actually fairly positive it is. But still, like, really? There's no rover? I only went over the plank and crevasse. Like... It just... there is. Thank goodness. Okay. But yeah, why is... the antenna is still there? Ish. Oh, that would explain it. <laughs> yeah, that would really explain it. Um, and then I have a... No, just... Where did... Where did you place that? You? Yeah, that's it, right? Yeah, okay, power cells. Um, but... Yeah, they're just as broken. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, we have really lost a few members of our block association. <laughs> oh no, really? I put the power cell, uh, the, the blinking battery in here? Now that would explain a few things, but, but we still have, didn't have the power cell. Okay, so anyways, let's... I need ice. That This is really all we're caring about right now. Get me in there, control panel. Give me those. No, all of them, please. Yeah, I need to make it, uh, mark it with the GPS as a backup next time. Um, power, strength, speed limit. They do it in kilometers. Like, uh, really? Uh, give me seconds, guys. <coughs> Eighty kilometers per hour in meters per second. Just so I get a, so that's fifty meters per second, right? What's the thirty? That's about a hundred kilometers, hundred and eight actually. But I'll take the hundred. That should limit our, you know, our actual movement speed. So we're not gonna. Won't kill ourselves too badly, but we still need to find ice. That, that is just. Oh wait, what? Well, have a look at that. I don't think any of those blocks work anymore. Like, unless I'm. Uh, 
The antenna doesn't work, the ore detector doesn't work, yeah, any point. Literally gonna have to go back to base and fix it. Also, this would have helped, by the way. I'm an idiot. But, yeah, okay. And... Yeah, the ore detector... We can't get running because of detector components, and we can't get that running because of com communication, other radio communication com components. Oh, okay. We should at least now be in a position to get back to base. Safely, yeah, we'll sit at 25 meters a second. I'm, I'm happy with that. Because there's really not much left of my base, um, of my vehicle. However, we are in a position to grab a whole bunch of iron on our way back. We've we found we found a singular one, and we found some. No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, just caught that there. Um, and but yeah, I'm I'm gonna try and probably. So how far is the base? Now I am um, too much hot. Base is about 5.4, um, and I think I will just shoot to that one. About four and a half kilometers away, um, and then we can shoot over to the base. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. And then hopefully, oh yeah, definitely always a learning experience. <laughs> Again, it's the whole point of my series in general. Like, I, I'm, I'm playing it from a perspective of the novice, of the noob, that, yeah, may have a little bit of an idea of what he's doing, but not really. Not at all, as a matter of fact. Um, and, like, another one of those learning experiences would have been to actually attach spotlights or something on this rover. Because the only illumination we have is actually coming from my suit through the window of the cockpit. Whoa, 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 whoa chill now here and you know the fact that it's getting dark doesn't help us it doesn't help us at all nope 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 just nope let me try and find another yeah just that way that, that seems nice um There we go. Yeah, it's it's you know one of those things. It's again what makes space engineers actually so interesting, because yeah, fuck ups cost you dearly, and sometimes the only thing you can do is try and limp back to base and rebuild. Eek! Just no. Nope too many blocks in the way and I've really not thought this rover through properly either and finished it off as I wanted to yeah no we're, we're not gonna make it up there there's just no and I really should have a quick uh, hotbar button to override the speed limit or something yeah, just get me is painful. Come on, just, just get me up there. Yes, keep going. You can do it, Rover. We have, I don't think we have all that much energy left. So we need to be a little bit frugal, let's say. Let's just say we need to be frugal. I'm gonna hydrate. Oh, 
Are we moving still? Are you... Uh, it's harmed. Yep, we've run out of energy. Okay, here's what I am intending to do. First piece of advice from Tarsus. I see you soon, Tarsus. Tarsus. Um, going to follow a piece of advice from Tarsus is we're going to make a backup because we know we can't rely on the antenna. It's dead at the moment. Um, yeah, just rover. Just I just want to know where it is. Then 1.8 kilometers. Okay, running, running, running. That uh, is just what we're going to have to do. Oh yeah, chat, I mean, not chat, I mean, uh, stream's going absolutely great. <laughs> oh, wrong button, sorry, that was my fault. That's, that's what I wanted. I wanted rid of that particular tool tip. Um, but yeah, sometimes you're just going to have to roll with the blows and just keep it at it. So, we've got 1.4 now from the iron. Base is about over there, about 2.6. So, yeah, we're going to be about 1.3 away from the base, I reckon. Right. There it is. My trig has never been... Oh, my trigonometry has never been the strongest suit. So... Oh, I'm going to turn the light off as well, just to save myself energy. Well, actually, energy is not a problem. Is that what's caused it? Did we drain it with our suit? I don't think so. Uh, yeah. A few lessons here actually to be learned, but it's fine. You know, I'm not... There's nothing you can do. Things happen. And the only reason I'm having my hand drill out is just in case I am lucky enough to actually run across ice. I doubt it, but you know, could happen. You know, in the land where flying pigs are a thing, maybe? I don't know. I've given up on ice in this particular area, so that's why the whole rover expedition happened. Oh well. Live and learn. Oh. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is actually surface level iron. <clears throat> As in, like, a rock sticking out of the ground. Uh, 300, yeah, 1.4, I, I wasn't actually too far off there. With my distances. Like, by the time we get there, 1.4 kilometers, maybe, instead of 1.3, but yeah, that's respectable enough. And yes, it, I'm, I'm sure it is this big rock. That is actually iron. Now, no point actually left ticking here, right? Well, remember, it's still a tutorial, though, because this is all actually just rock, so we're gonna right click it, just get it to buggery. We don't want it. We want the good stuff inside. And there it is. This is what we're looking for. Now, if you're sacrificing a little bit of iron while you're doing this sort of cleanup, Eh, don't worry about that. But I want to make sure that all I'm taking him is literally just iron. Take that. Take that. Come on. Yeah, this, this seems fine to sort of so just start digging in. Let's better. I'm 
And this fills up the inventory a lot quicker than stone does, by the way. Now, just to make you aware. But, we can take this right now back to base, stick it in the refiner, and we'll get a lot of iron from that. I mean, inventory. Um, why did we get that to buggery? Just get. Uh, we took, we picked up 7.4k in iron. Right, that, that is <clears throat> certainly so much better than carrying 7k of stone and you're getting, maybe if you're lucky, what, a K on iron? Right. It was alright for the beginning. Absolutely. You can you can spawn as as this save game really shows. You can spawn with no resources near and you can still make a decent start. Um It's just you need to persist a bit. Um gonna be honest, it's 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 a bit of a slog. Even prepping for the episode, I worked literally through the whole of a singular night, so that's about two hours worth of, um, yeah, just digging a hole, essentially. And, you know, that was essentially just to make sure we actually had the resources, it had nothing to do with building a tunnel. Um, it was, yeah, essentially, let's get the resources together to do a build. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. And you know that there could be a, a case to be made saying, "Oh, this is too boring, just cheat in some ways." And they're like, no, 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 because like for me, I want to show the whole experience. I, I want to say, or I want to show that yeah, that there is painful parts in this game, and they are very grindy, and they have you know. Uh, I wouldn't say boring actually, it's just, it's annoying maybe, you know, it's it's a, it's a chore, but hey, uh, you, don't, you don't get any good reward without putting some work in, that's the way I see it, um, but yeah, we're nearly there, like we're just 300 meters off, and then I will need resources for antenna, Beacon, piston, all sorts. But we should be fine in terms of crafting it together, like it's. Right. So here, here comes the best part just getting rid of all that iron. Just stick that all in there. No, just let me up, please. Okay, what did I say we need? We need um, just a normal, small... No, that's not the thing I was wanting. It's this one what I was wanting. Give me the components for that. What do you mean you can't withdraw one mortar? Put it into production, please. Goodness sakes. Um... Nothing else on here, but we do need the components for a ore detector, for an ore detector, a beacon, and an antenna. Make those, please. My production should be... Yeah, they're done. Um... Also, I think we've lost gyros, so I'm just gonna grab two components for that, and I would like, is this small block or large block, I, I can't make it out, like, yeah, that looks definitely larger than this, right, so, four girders and eight solar cells, well, can you please make those two? Right, what's my build plan look like? It's literally just this stuff. Okay. Right. Oh, welcome back, Tarsus. I think I have everything to repair the rover, and 
we should really have a healthy supply of iron. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Nice. Okay, uh, Rover. 3k. Running, running, running. Oh, that's fine, so, uh, Tarsus. Well, I do similar things when, when I do, like, uh, prep work for another episode or something. You know, yeah, I'll, I'll watch a stream. <laughs> Quite happy to do it, too. <laughs> so, it's all good, man. It's all good. I do appreciate you actually hanging out and taking the time and, These yeah, helping me out, actually. So, as long as you enjoy it, too, it's all good, man. It's all good. And we've got about half an hour left before I have to call it. Um, but, you know, honestly, Tarsus, I've actually really enjoyed having you there. It's been, for me personally, one of the first times I had really longing interaction on a video during a stream on something I was doing. And it, I think it, it's to do as well with the, with the fact that Space Engineers, it's, you know, it's such a great game. And in so many different ways of doing things and... Yeah, there's a, there's a certain standard you need to sort of follow. I, I love it for that, and there's a lot of knowledgeable people, and like yourself, you're showing that, you know. And I love it when people share knowledge. It's it's for me one of the greatest achievements um, that we have. So. Yeah, so am I. <laughs> Um, you can follow me on Twitter as well. I'm, I'm sort of updating what I'm doing on there if you ever sort of wonder. Um, but this series is certainly Monday to Friday, bet normally between 6 and 8. That's always sort of the time. Um, but I also do like story based games like, say, Splinter Cell at the moment. Um, I, I tried Satisfactory. I have lost a little bit of the heart for it, but I want to get back into it. Um, and, you know, there's, there's, there's a whole mixed bag of videos that I really do, so. But I'm, I'm glad I found something for you, particularly, and because this is sort of my whole point, I, I'm, I'm trying to cover all different types of games, you know, different things that people could encounter in terms of problems, you know, I've done a fa Factorio stream, or, you know, a, a Linux stream on, on how to set up a, a Factorio server, things like that. And I actually enjoy that. It's for me. It's again is a sharing of knowledge. So yeah, we know we have resources over there. We 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 have more pressing concerns because all this would not have been necessary if I had more ice. <laughs> but it's fine. This is fine. Again, this is why I play the game. And you fuck up. You you gonna have to go and run. And just fix it. <laughs> Even in Satisfactory, you can do a sort of slide and and jump thing where you can actually get quite a bit of traveling done. But no, not in Space Engineers. It's I would almost like to call it the walking simulator, but that honor clearly belongs to. All right, uh, Lost Colony. Um. Say I've heard of it. I'll look into it for sure. Like I'm always interested in your games, um, but you know I'm also a gamer that waits a couple of months before the game get becomes a bit cheaper than that because I am, well, how would you say? <laughs> um, yeah, like I have a series running and I just lost the heart because there was sort of update six was happening, and then there was the whole thing that mods wasn't working and honestly i just lost heart a bit um but i plan on going back to it uh, there is an episode seven in the making with a time lapse of me rebuilding most of the factory now with update six out so that is in the making and hoping to get it done probably by the end of this month um but again, this is not something you may know, uh, Tarsus, but you know, I have had problems, ongoing issues actually with mental health. So sometimes you have just times where. Oh, right, it's a space scenario. Yeah, I have 
played into some of the scenarios and I do enjoy them to really get you into the game. But for me, the real meat of the game is the sandbox environment. Just just give me a couple of worlds or a couple of plans, give me a world to play in and just let me be. <laughs> I'm really happy with that. But absolutely, the scenarios are great. You know, even if it is just a way to get you into the game and, and introduce you to mechanics. So we can repair this now. Right, we can re Are you kidding me? I'm I'm sure I picked up the components for a battery. I No, I did Honestly, I just done the whole run. I, I I picked up all the ingredients that I was needing. I am losing my friggin' mind here in a second. I mean, this is fine, but I'm still going to lose it. Up one. I... Yeah, that's, that's, that's where we were attached. Um, give me a block to attach to, please. And get that built up. Yeah, yeah, and... As I say, I've also played the... Which one was it? Learning to Survive, I think? The one on the on in, on the Stellar, or on the, on the Asteroid. Where you have to sort of go and rebuild your base a little bit first before you can get started. I really like that scenario too, you know. In general, there's, there's a lot of... Lovingly crafting has went into it. And honestly, guys, I, I, I swear I'm losing my mind. I have clicked on the thing and told it to make me and, and give me components. And it's gave me all sorts. But not the... <sighs> and I can't even build, like... I'd be almost tempted, like, survival kit. No, survival kit needs um, silver, doesn't it? <sighs> they, uh, I have to do this run again. Yeah, 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 the medical components three, and they're made from silver, which we haven't even found yet. God, I hate myself so much right now. I should have made sure I had those friggin' components. But. I know there's a gyro missing for sure. You're not gonna let me up there, will you? That's fine. I, I don't even care anymore. I'm just gonna try and get you welded up here. Um, I should, however, completely mock this up. Place this somewhere up here, please. I'm trying to run, jump. Yes. Just. Give me somewhere to attach this to, just... Oh, that's, that's right through the auto detector, I don't want that. Right. Nah, just give me something. Will that do? I would want it a little bit centered. Can we do that? Is that a thing, or is that me asking too much? That's, I think that's me asking too much. Unless I can move it over this way. <laughs> no. Yeah, okay, I, I, I don't even care. Yeah, just put it together. Right. Oh, we have this. Hey, uh, dear space engineers, can I just try and torture you and you will charge a solar panel? Yeah, probably not. Yeah, it's... Oh, I should have put a flat, you think? Uh, that may have been actually a, a good idea. Just as well, nothing scraps. I guess. Um, yeah, okay. Um, let's try and do something like... Yeah, in here. Um, no. I swear these rotations are making me 
drive me absolutely insane. Just give me a... that, that's, that's, I didn't think that was going to work. Do we have enough steel plate, I wonder? To do something like... What am I doing here? Uh, say something like... So... Oh, just why would you do that? I've just placed one the other way. <laughs> I love this game, but sometimes it drives me absolutely fucking batshit crazy. Excuse my language. Ah, uh, less a chance to break when you put it flat. Yeah, yeah, especially after my my stunt there. We're gonna have to build a box, I think. But it's there's there's no. There's no other way from for me to attach it, I think. So and just let me just sort of build this up maybe like so just to give it a solid attachment point. Let's try that. Also, what am I doing? I am a glorified idiot. Ah, excellence. Welder, like controls, better welder. Uh, yes, better. Right, so now if I write this away. In. Those, please, and I will try to just attach it there, just, just there. But no, it's this way. I need to go. No, what, what, what. Do we need to go higher, higher, higher up? Really? I think that's a thing. Yep, yeah, that is a thing. Yeah, um, well, let's start over there. Just putting blocks down. Nothing to see here, officer. No, we did not have an accident and scraped half our rover across the landscape, officer. What, what makes you say that? What, this welding torch? No, no. I, this is just for show. I, I was interested in a light show, really. Wasn't I? Maybe. Sorry, guys. Losing the plot. Um, can we now? Yes. Thank you. Oh, please tell me my stream is still running. Because my remote's just conked out. Oh. I'm just hope for the best. It's going to get recorded anyways and up uploaded to YouTube as a VOD. Of course it's not set up. This is fine. Uh, we're gonna have to wait for daytime now, anyways. Um, and I feel like. So how, how far away are we from base? Three kilometers. What time is it now, roughly? What night time? Where's, where's, where's the moon? Is that the moon? No, it's not. Is there any way to tell by the planets what time it is? Hmm. Good question, actually. I would imagine. Oh yes, it is apparently. Um, so yes, stream is working. Fantastic. Thanks, Tarsus. Okay, fuck it. We are running once more. I'm gonna try and pick up those battery parts now. Uh, oh, <laughs> so I've just seen my energy bar. So <laughs> there it is. I was waiting for it. <laughs> Oh, this stream is going so well. <laughs> but honestly, like, even if not everything went to plan, I still enjoy it. So, you know, that's really the main thing. That's why I'm doing this. 
So. <laughs> oh, please tell me I've not removed that GPS point. I, I cannot remember if I touched or not. Oh, thank goodness. No, it's still there. Okay, we're, we're fine. We're fine. Uh, Wee. Yeah, this. <laughs> you know, and the best part is I can't blame the game. I can't blame anything, but me. Yeah, it, it, this this is purely self-inflicted. I truly wish there was an auto run button like Dark Age or Camelot. Had things like you you hit numlock and your character just starts running in the same direction. Uh, is that a thing? Wait. Don't say it doesn't if you don't know the if it does. Uh yeah, we're not playing with controls movement. Run forward, rotate, hold, hold just to toggle wall. Caps lock, okay. No, just with this. No, that's okay, that's not what I thought it was. Okay. So you can actually go walk, you can go a little bit faster, and then you can sprint. But, yeah, no auto sprint. Okay, that's fine. Or auto run, or whatever. Uh, yeah. Fuel critical. Oh, you think my fuel is critical? Have you seen my, my, my energy bar, Hen? I'm just glad there's not a minehead around, because I'm sure I would kill myself with it rotating too. Just give it time. I will say, like, I, I don't know if YouTube represents this nicely, but I love this insane, uh, insane resolution skybox. It is drop dead fucking gorgeous. I. <laughs> yeah, I know she's always worried about the fuel, not the energy. <laughs> oh, I'm going the wrong way, by the way. Um, that was me. Yeah, Tarsus is saying she's always more worried about the fuel and the energy. Yeah. It's a fact, you're not even using fuel, you don't care about the fuel, just leave me alone, Hank. <laughs> um, but, you know, I can appreciate if you're in a high G environment and you are high above ground and your fuel runs on, yeah, you'd want to be notified of that event. You know, so I can appreciate why they've done it. But there are times when you're like, no shit, Shark, I know I've got no fuel. Why do you think I've been spending the last... What, uh, one hour 43 minutes trying to find more rights? Do <laughs> uh, you think I'm doing this for fun? I mean, yes, I'm doing it for fun, but as for the point. <laughs> uh, so, me. I know this is really not really exciting, me running through the darkness, but it is what it is. There'll definitely be some highlights going up on my shorts or on my Twitter later on for sure. Like, rover turning over, everything exploding. <laughs> uh, you wouldn't think about three kilometers, it's quite some distance to walk. Oh, hello tree, or shrub, or bush, or whatever. Um, no, not the mine. Just, just in there. So 300 meters, yeah, well, we're getting close. And now I need to make sure that my build planner is actually empty and that when I withdraw the components... They could hurt if you had fuel. Yeah, they could actually hurt these trees, I know. 
that, that's the thing, um, I've said this before, like, even if you leave one voxel somewhere in the, hanging in the air, and you run into it at, say, 100 meters a second, yeah, game over, hey, you're dead, you know, that's why, like, my mind, I took really painstaking lengths to make sure I was mining every voxel, um, so, yeah, energy quickly, that, that's one reason I'm here, but, you know, okay, um, oh, I can't, I can't do that in this bar, this is fine. Um, right. Yes, we know this. We know this in exuberance. Um, build planner empty. Now, very slowly. Not the big one, the small one. Withdraw. Cannot withdraw one detector component. Go on. Put that into production, please. And that is that. I don't know if I need the beacon or not. I... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're going to... Get it anyways. And we're going to do the same with the antenna. And tell it to put everything of that into production. Right. Let's see. I should have... One detector component. Right, and now I need to just make sure I'm getting this right. How much radio? Four. And the beacon <clears throat> also takes four. So I don't think the beacon has withdrawn its components. Like, these are the radio... Yeah, yeah. But then, again, I, I truly don't know if a beacon is all that necessary right now. Just to get us back up and running? Nah, I doubt it. Small battery. Give me... One. Build planner. Yes, make two more of those power cells, please. And then, just for the shits and giggles, I'm going to make one more. And, you know what, because I feel like it, uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, no, well, there was actually some already made. Well, that's fine. So what's the build plan look like? The build plan just says, give me those power cells. Okay. Now, let's, inventory, where's the, give me those. Um, give me some more motors. Um, I'll leave the grids. I would, I would, hmm, what do you think here? We've got 24 steel plate, that seems fine. We've got no interior, we'll take that with us. Just in case. Uh, same for the construction components. And do we need that many computers? Seems excessive. Um... But... We should be fine now to actually restore the rover. Batteries, I have picked up the antenna components, I have picked up the ore detector components. Let's go and heal and one more time. Right, rover that away. 3k. And off we go. <sighs> So, what I'm thinking of doing, just to bring this to a sort of nice wrap if I can, we're going to get to the rover, we're going to get it repaired, and we're going to get it back to base. If I can get there today, then I'm already happy, then we've took an excursion with the rover, broke it in the process, mined some iron, and returned the rover back to sender, <laughs> so to speak. Um... And I, I think that's actually, I'm, I'm already quite happy with that. And, yeah. Because we've wasted, unfortunately, we've wasted a lot of time just doing exactly this. 
そう。It feels sort of like it was a, a stream full of boring moments interrupted by brief moments of violence. Like, just sort of in that direction. It reminds me of something I read in, in a Warhammer novel, so. And I'm also going to remind everyone, and I'll also put a card up at the end of the video, um, there is actually a playlist for the VODs. So if you want to see it in slightly better com um, quality than over the stream, because there is variations. Shut up with your fuel. Um, <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> if you want to see the whole thing in a bit, a bit more high, a better quality, you're more than welcome to check out that playlist. And it always takes about a couple of hours to for me to process the video and compress it and then upload it. Because, well, the truth is, once I've done a two-hour episode, you're talking about... 40 to 45 gigs worth of video that absolutely needs to be compressed before I upload that like um, and so that is a process that takes about 45 minutes to an hour and then yeah the actual upload and at 10 megabits that can be better than what I had before with BT certainly but you know 10 megabit is still it's still a limit when you're trying to push out 10 12 gigs at, at a time but certainly by end of day, by end of play today, we will have a VOD video for episode 4 out as well. You know, I could have saved myself a lot of time here if I had jetpack fuel. <laughs> Well, it's just the fact that I feel very close to losing my mind from running the same route three times now. <laughs> uh. Now, if I'm not mistaken, when we build the battery fully up, we actually get some energy into it. So, um, yeah, we're going to work with that. And then I think before, in the, during the next episode, before we go anywhere else with the rover, um, I'm going to hook it up to the base with connectors. I'm actually going to replenish the batteries to full. Um, might work on the design in between. Or might do it on stream. Don't know yet. We'll see. Um, but yeah, we're definitely going to have to toughen up the rover just a little bit, I think. Or make it at least more capable of traversing the environment. Um, and then we need to go back out finding ice. Um, and yeah, as I say, there, there is a very... How would I say? There's a very high urge for me to just say, sod it, and I'm going to just cheat in 1k of ice or something just to take the pain away. But no, no, no. No, no, we're going to go through this, and it's going to be painful, and I am going to enjoy every single minute. Ish. But, you know, we're all here for the journey, so. Rover? Why do I not... Please tell me you're just behind this rise. And haven't these... But yes, thank you. Okay, so... Battery components, um... Well, actually, let's try and fix... Get that away for a second. That's fixed. That's fixed. Now we have some energy in it. Um, I feel like I need to put a block there for the piston. Because otherwise, clang ensues. Or it'll just fall through when it tries to push, you know, one of the two. Um, gyroscope. I, I am sure the other gyro will be fine. Like, it, it was fairly deep in there. Well, maybe not. 
Maybe not. Maybe it's literally lost the beef. Oh, for goodness sakes. No, no, there it is. I can see it. Good, 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 good. Now that is that is actually the first bit of good news I had in this in this whole terrible incident. And I think that is the alignment. Right. What do you mean I need one steel plate? I And you you're gonna tell me I can't place this one steel because I'm Okay, it's fine. I don't care. It's somehow built back up. Right. Can we please confirm that? Uh, sorry. I'm pushing all the wrong buttons yet. No. Um, so, first of all, handbrake on off works. Fine. Um, tab. War detector and antenna. We've got those two. Uh, that, that is already good. I, I already like that. We've ramped that up. That is fine. Piston 5 gets renamed just to Piston. Then we have a group here where we're going to need to add. So, this is something I haven't shown yet. <coughs> yeah, see you soon, Bad Tarsus. So this is something I haven't shown yet. How do you add something to a group after the group's been created? Right. So you literally select the group, just click it, and then you hold control and you add the component that you want to add to that group. Like in this case, this small piston here, right? Just select it into that group and save it again. And that's all there is to it. Now, if we go and click on that maintenance lift, you see all four pistons are selected, right? I just want to make sure that all four are sharing the inertia tensor, which they do. Good. Then let me go and fix up these guys so they're like that. I just don't like all these numbers extra. Um, this is going to get cleaned up soon as well. Uh, and then just control A, control C, and then we're going to select them all and say, you know what, go and replace that name like so. And then we're going to put them in a group called Gyros. Oh. Right, boom. I like that. <clears throat> we are good. Handbrakes off. We are fit to go somewhere. Um, I should have brought components for a light, but I didn't. It's fine. We have not much energy, but I am hopeful and almost certain with a little bit of care I can nurse this thing back in. Alright, that's if, if we can get there, if I can get it nursed home, um, then I'm already happy. I'm just going to take it very slowly here. I just don't know what the environment is like or the terrain. And I'm just going to try and make a beeline. Yeah, right towards that sort of line there. This may actually be better from the inside. Right, and there's another little piece of advice. Um, it doesn't help to just keep pushing W, like to go forward, because you just keep pushing, in this case, against the speed limit that we have set up, um, and you're wasting energy, right? You can, li you can literally just coast along f for quite some distance. I'm not sure why it does, it's like, it's not supplying enough energy or something. Am I going the wrong way? Like, seriously, what? No, I am going the right way. I just need to get around this. Okay, I understand. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, okay. No, 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 um... Oh, this is going to get a little bit ugly. 
I think. And I may need to get rid of that limit. That speed limit on there. Um, let's try and get around. Like, I've done enough damage to this rover. I just wanted him to. It's, it's, it's. Note to self, next time just build big grid. No, where are we stuck now? Like, come on. Oh, are you kidding me? Sorry, guys, I really am struggling here. Why I don't. Come on, you need to be able to traverse some terrain, surely. And I did see a spark of... Come on, where is it? There was a resource here. You know, and I would absolutely hate, it, hate for it to be ice. Like, at the end of it and all now. For ice to be like 1.7k away from base. Uh... I doubt it is, but that would have been a slap in the face. Um, right, see again. Oh, whoa, yes, yes, we'll take it. Where is it? We, we, we'll need to mark it for sure. Oh, come on. The, the silicon, I, I rightly don't care. There. Right, just mark it here. I, I don't even... Uh, GPS... Earth. It's S I N T O in this case, right? That is that is a good find. We have actually found our stepping stone that I was talking about last time. Mind, I was saying last time that there is a sort of stepping stone we're gonna need before we can technologically advance any further. That was it right there, and I am going the wrong way again. There we go. Welcome back, Tarsus. Um, I am literally just about wrapping up, getting back to base, trying to get the rover there. I did find cobalt, so major stepping stone for us there. We can now produce grids. Um, I haven't picked up any yet, because as I say, I just want the rover back home now, and then try and improve on it before we go out next time. Um, so you haven't missed much. Just me trying to traverse the environs on what seems to me two small wheels. Like, here we go. Um, so, <clears throat> there we are. We've, we've made it back to base. The rover is still in a piece. It's not the same piece that left the base, but it is in a piece, and, and, and that's good enough for me. <laughs> um, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I'd like to thank Tarsus specifically here, in this case, for all the input I've got. Um, tomorrow we will be, yeah, we're, we're going to improve on the rover. Don't do that so much. That's, that's, that's a dirty habit, to just do that with your gyros. Don't do that. <laughs> um, and yeah, we're going to try and improve on the rover a little bit to make it a little bit more sturdy. All right, make it capable of traversing the environment a little bit better. I don't think it's going to be taking that much. I, I'm, I'm thinking make it a little bit... Uh, taking away a, a lot of the blocks underneath here and then sort of putting a few more wheels on at the back and at the front, but nothing too expensive. Um, but yeah, that is going to be for tomorrow. We will also have a connector on this, that's for sure. I will somehow remove it or reorganize this so we can get a connector through, get it hooked up to base, because I am positive, I am absolutely positive as a matter of fact, that if I check this battery out, yeah, it's fully charged, and we could literally just charge the whole rover within probably minutes just from the base. Right, but that is it for today. Again, thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you like the content. Um, if you've got any questions, leave a comment down and doobly do. And yeah, what else can I say? But peace out.